I'm back for another video, round two of doing my makeup. And I'm gonna do my makeup again because yesterday I did it and um, I'm not sure which video goes up first and the, the order and any of that kind of stuff. Felt really good about it. And I felt really pretty and I just liked having my makeup done. So round two, let's go. It was so nice to feel put together and pretty yesterday. Not that it matters and not that you need to be wearing makeup to be pretty. That's not what I'm saying. Don't put words in my mouth. It was nice to like look in the mirror and be like, oh. I felt really good about myself yesterday and I wore more makeup than usual. So feeling good, feeling good. Not that great. I have a bit of a cluster headache this morning. Had one yesterday too. But I also had so much ice cream yesterday. My husband and I decided to go on a little impromptu date night because we had a little bit of time and I got a huckleberry ice cream. I am not a sugar eater typically, but I said YOLO. And honestly, it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Interrupting my past self with my future self to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I'm sure by now, if you've watched my channel, you guys know who HelloFresh is, but if you don't, they are a meal delivery service. They deliver meals directly to your door each week and they come in an insulated box. And in that box are the meals that you have chosen. They have a lot of different flavors and combinations and meals that I don't necessarily even think to make in my typical life, but they are so good and they've become staple meals that we tend to make over and over again. If you're like me and you get stuck in a recipe rut, you can take a bite out of something new with 40 recipes to choose from weekly with options to please even the pickiest of eaters, you'll always find meals that everyone at the table will enjoy. No matter your lifestyle, you'll always find delicious recipes on HelloFresh's menu like pescatarian and veggie options, and you can even swap proteins and sides to make a recipe just how you like it. HelloFresh Market has new snack meals as well and more fun to add to your weekly order like their fun s'mores bundle for the kids. We've been trying to get out and do a lot more things lately, and so I love that I don't have to think about it. I just pull a meal out, make it, it's very quick, it takes I feel like around a half hour to make most of the meals for us. And the recipes are absolutely delicious. They're well balanced. And today's so yummy. And my kiddo loves this one as well. It's an amazing feeling to have your kid eat what you make <laughs> and not throw a fit. And that was today's meal because this one is so good, really flavorful and also a veggie dish. You feel really good after you eat it. It's not like one of those heavy meals. I really, really like this one a lot. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, you guys can go to hellofresh.com and use code rawbeauty16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's hellofresh.com and use code rawbeauty16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. And I thank you again so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video. And let's hop right back in. You hear my kids singing hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog? Oh! Hi! Did you see the pink thing? The pink thing? Yeah. What pink thing? The makeup. Well, there's a whole bunch of makeups in here. Are you talking about the one from yesterday? Yeah. Um, that's on the stairs. It's on the stairs going downstairs. You can grab it. Let's go get it. It's glow recipe. I'm going down. Oh, mommy's filming a video. Come on, big guy. You're going down. Absolutely terrible that looks. Okay, so I do that a lot and I never realized how much I do that. Just like slip in and out of an accent. But yesterday my husband and I were at a restaurant and there was a table full of British people next to us. It was nearly impossible for me not to be like, Ah, this is crazy. I know that's not British, that's Australian. But like I typically just slip right into an Australian accent and I'll be like, getting fish and chips. And I do that like all the time. Yeah, can't do that when you got a table full of Brits next to you, can ya? See, just like that, like how I just finish off a sentence like that, can ya? Oh man, it was like suppressing an urge the entire time I was there not to just slip in. All right, so I need now, I'm feeling a little caked. I would like to try a new foundation. You guys can give me some suggestions. I feel like the House Labs one is where my mind is telling me I need to go. I want something that has a really beautiful skin-like finish that isn't cakey feeling, but has like a 
soft, satiny, dewy, skin-like finish. So if you guys can make some suggestions, I feel like the House Labs, I've seen everybody be like raving over that one, but I'd love to try some different things. So let me know. I actually am going today to help out my friend. She messaged this morning, like a little SOS. I'm gonna watch her kiddo for a few hours so she can get some work done. And I wanted to feel put together because yesterday, like I was saying, it felt so good to have a full face of makeup on. Just every time I would like capture a little, capture a little glimpse, I was like, she's cute. Rare beauty powder. Just kind of doing a little light dusting. I've had a really big inclination lately to start a business, <sighs> but not like a, I don't know, maybe like go to a farmer's market or something like something small. I don't know, what it, What do you guys think? Like, what could you see me doing for a business? I have a million ideas, but I just don't know that, I just don't know. I've never run a business before. I, have, I mean, I've done this, but having an online business is so different. I imagine from like having like an actual physical location or, or going somewhere. Like I've never done that before where you like go to a location and like sell a product. Like if I was going to do like a farmer's market or something. But I kind of want to do something related to like homesteading, gardening. I don't know, it'd be so cool. I just feel like a, lot, a big pull towards doing something business-wise. Everyone that starts a business of their own is like, don't do it. And I'm like, okay, 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 stop yelling at me. Because I think it's so stressful that, you know, I just don't want something that's gonna be stressful. Obviously I'm willing to take on a little bit of stress to have a business, but not like, I think I sort of could come off like a hermit in a way. I enjoy being alone men many days. Before I had my kiddo, I could never see people and be mostly okay with that. Not anymore. Mm -mm. I need to see somebody like every single day. I'm just feeling like I kind of want to do something that has a bit of people seeing ability. And that's the kind of sad part. My husband doesn't have that. So I'm going directly against what he likes to be around people all the time. Cause he could be alone every single day. And I used to be like that. I'm going to use this one again, sitting right here. Lovely Lunar Beauty Moon Prism blush palette. And I'm going in mostly with pink moon right now. There's something about that pretty pink blush that feels really lovely. My hair's wet right now, but I will be curling it later. Doing my hair and my makeup felt so lovely yesterday that I was like, dude, I need to do this every single day. This is the ColourPop Freckle Pen. I get asked a lot when I have faux freckles what I use. I just like this because it's so easy. Although I do wanna try Freck. If you guys have ever tried it and you really like it and you feel like it's worth it, let me know. It seems almost more irritating to use because it's like a liquid product that you have to like open the container. It almost is in like the same type of packaging as um, lash glue type of thing. So I don't know if it would be for me, but seems like people really like it. Maybe it's because it looks so much more natural. I'm gonna go in with Sunbaked again. That was that kind of like tawny, kind of more yellowy shade. I posted a picture on my Instagram yesterday. When you guys are watching this, it's been, oh, it's been a while. I'm kind of pr not pre-filming, but just trying to film every time I do my makeup. I often get out of the headspace of doing videos. I sit down and like, just kind of do my makeup and then, you know, that's not good enough to film. You know, it's good enough to film anything. So um, as as you guys are watching this, it was probably a while ago, but I uploaded the picture of the makeup that I did yesterday to Instagram. And oh man, the comments are so nice and you guys were just so supportive and awesome because I, I did the caption like, I knew she was in there somewhere. And speaking of my old self, because I was like, in the last video I was mentioning that I feel a little like I am trying to slowly come back into who I was and I can look back sometimes and forget just sort of who I who I was, honestly. And you guys were just so nice in the comments and so supportive and kind and I really appreciated it. So thank you so much for that. And I felt like really lovely yesterday. I will say though <laughs> that about halfway through dinner, I looked in the mirror baby, my lashes were coming off. I couldn't even feel it. Sometimes I can feel when the edges pull up. Couldn't feel it yesterday, looking crazy. Yesterday, I went way overboard on that dark shade, but I did end up liking kind of the deepened inner and outer. There we go. That's what I was going for yesterday. Got to tap off a lot of that excess. What's an ideal date night for you guys? Like if you were to go out and have your ideal not 
not, okay, date day and date night. Those are two different things for me. If there's something I wanna do, I'm gonna say what I wanna do. And I chose to go to an escape room and then to dinner. You know, escape rooms, if you've never done one, I think the funny thing about an escape room is that they're nothing like what I guess I thought they were. I've done like 25 of them by now, but they're so effing fun. They are the funnest thing ever to me. I think there is not much funner than just using your brain to solve a to solve a puzzle to like solve the clues and get out of your own head into a puzzle mindset there's something so fun about that i had a friggin blast doing that so that was really fun and that was like such an ideal date for me because we did that and then we went to dinner and it was so wonderful but then i also love karaoke so are you guys karaoke people because some people are and some people are not. But there is just something about karaoke to me that is like, there is never a funner time. By the way, what I did there is I just took that same big fluffy brush and put it in this like lightest colored shade right here. And that, that one's called Harmony. And I just like tapped it on the center to get like a light sort of halo-y eye. And now I'm gonna just toss on a pair of lashes. I will do, no wait, I'm gonna do some brown liner first. Like if you were gonna give me an ideal, ideal, do an escape room, then do dinner, then karaoke. I don't drink because I have cluster headaches and they they just trigger cluster headaches for me. So I can't drink. And you know, having a couple of drinks with karaoke is really fun, but you just, you deal with the cards you were dealt and the cards I were dealt was that I can't drink. I actually don't even like drinking anyway. It's not good for anybody. It's it's weird that it's so, you know, I'm not gonna get on a soapbox here cause I honestly couldn't, I couldn't care what people do as long as you're safe and you're not hurting anybody else. I just, whatever. I'm just gonna say, like, I don't care. And this isn't coming from a place of caring. This is coming from a place of just like curiosity and be, like bewilderment of how socially acceptable it is to get drunk, which is so weird to me that alcohol is like not only socially acceptable, but like you're weird if you don't drink in people's eyes. Whereas like when you think about what we're doing, it's like we're drinking a substance that quite literally poisons us and makes us weird as hell. Like fun, sure, lowered inhibitions, absolutely out of your mind, say things you would never say, do things you would never do. And we're like, yep, normal. Not only normal, but like, if you don't drink, people treat you like some weird pariah. You don't drink? Like, no, I don't. But it's so weird that like, you're the weird one if you don't drink this poison. <laughs> that tastes like shit and is gonna make you feel so bad tomorrow that you're going to not believe that you're not dying. Like you're gonna think you're dying. Your body's gonna be shaky. You're gonna be so sick. You're not even gonna wanna eat your favorite foods because you're gonna be so ill tomorrow. And not every time, obviously, if you get absolutely blackout hammered drunk. It's not even just funny. It's just so weird to me how, how that can happen. Like an absolutely socially acceptable and totally normal being out of our minds drunk is. I don't know. It's so weird. I, I don't really, I, again, I don't care what people do. I um, sometimes wish I could drink because I do loosen up quite a bit. Yeah. I don't know. Some of the times in my life that I've been like the most embarrassed and the most like I literally can't believe that I did that was because I was drunk. Again, I don't care what anybody else wants to do. I'm not judging anybody. I'm not, I, I don't care as long as you're not hurting anybody. So lashes are on. Now I'm gonna do my lips. I loved the way they looked yesterday. So I'm gonna do that same thing again. You know, it's one business, but go back to that, that I wish I had ever done and I didn't do. I was making merch. I should have done it. I had, I had, samples going and all of that. Like we were ready to make merch and come out with merch. And then I had a baby and I let it fall apart because I was just not at the capacity to handle making decisions. I really should have. Maybe I still can. Would any of you guys be interested in that? I don't know. I might be past my window on it. Oh, I wanna try that. Is it Rare Beauty? Um, had like a highlighter that I saw on Instagram and it looked so pretty. I only like a little bit of glow these days. All right, my hair's wet. I need to go do it. But that's the makeup. It is 
really pretty. I feel good about this. It's, this is like more of my everyday that I would do back in the day because I didn't always do shimmer on my eyelids, but I really liked the shimmer yesterday. I like this look today. I'm gonna just go dry my hair and throw some curls in it. And I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys liked today's video. And if you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I've been uploading a little bit more recently and hopefully I can continue to do so if I have the capacity. And I think I do. I feel like I'm getting more capacity right now. Okay, well thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.